Hi, I'm Kelly Flint, and today we're going to talk about color theory. Let's start with the color wheel. Primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Primary colors are three colors that cannot be mixed or formed by any combination of other colors. Secondary colors are green, violet, and orange. Secondary colors are colors that are formed by mixing primary colors. To get orange, you mix red and yellow. To get green, you mix yellow and blue. To get violet, you mix red and blue. The color wheel. Let's define a few key words. Hue is a color's position on the color wheel. For example, red is in between violet and orange. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color. Think light blue or dark blue. And saturation is the intensity of a color. A sunset can have many saturated colors. Now we'll think about these keywords and the color wheel together. This is called color relativity. In each of these columns, the small squares are the same color. The surrounding colors in the larger squares change how each of the smaller squares look. These three columns show shifts in hue, value, and saturation. In the first column, the greenish yellow little square, when surrounded by green, looks yellow, and when surrounded by yellow, looks green. In the second column, the blue little square looks light when surrounded by a darker color and looks dark when surrounded by a lighter color. In the third column, saturation shifts can make the small pink square look dull and blend into the background or vibrant and stand out. And now we see examples of hue, value, and saturation. This is Joseph Albers. Joseph Albers was an artist that labored over color relationships a long time ago and made beautiful artworks as a result. Joseph Albers was a famous painter born in 1888 in Germany. He was also a very influential teacher and brought his ideas and work to the United States. These ideas and theories about color can be found in his book called Interaction of Color. In this book, Joseph Albers explains how color works and why. Between 1950 and 1976, Joseph Albers used a single shape, the square, to emphasize color relationships and interactions in his paintings. He called these pieces homages to the square. A homage is like a tribute or something meant to honor something else. Joseph Albers was honoring the square. When we look at his paintings side by side, we can see how similar colors look different when next to other colors. This is really important for painters to consider when they are deciding what color decisions to make. Now, let's make our own homages to the square. Start by layering all of your squares in different ways. See what happens when certain colors mix with other colors. Don't settle for the first idea you come up with. Try a bunch. Once you've decided, you're ready to glue. When you glue, try to put the glue on the corners of each square. And start by gluing the layers on the bottom first, then work your way to the top layer. After gluing, you're finished, and you have your own homage to the square. Here 
are some examples of other student work to inspire you. And don't forget, have fun!